Good morning. I welcome members to the sixth meeting in 2015 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee and ask members to switch off mobile phones, please. Agenda item one is the decision on taking business in private. It's proposed we take item six and seven in private. Item six is consideration of a draft report on the Human Trafficking and Exploitation Scotland Bill. And item seven is consideration of a paper from the clerk on public engagement. Does the committee agree to take these items in private, please? Thank you. Agenda item two is instruments subject to approval. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Scottish Landfill Tax Qualifying Material Order 2015, SSI 2015 45. Is the committee content with that instrument, please? Okay. Agenda item three, instruments subject to affirmative procedure. The Scotland Act 1998, modification of schedules four and five and transfer of functions to the Scottish ministers, etc. Order 2015 draft. The committee may consider that Article 5 of the order could be clearer in describing the extent of the functions to be exercisable by the Scottish ministers concurrently with the Secretary of State as regards Scotland. Article 5.3a appears to confer on the Scottish ministers any provisions set out in Schedule 2 to the representation of the People's Act 1983, subject to the limiting factors described elsewhere in that article. However, Article 5.3b then specifically confers only certain paragraphs of Schedule 2. It's therefore not clear whether only the more limited scope of 5.3b applies. Does the committee therefore agree to draw the order to the attention of the Parliament under reporting ground H, as its meaning could be clearer? Agreed. The committee may wish to note, however, that the Scottish Government does not consider this to present a problem for the order's practical application or to prevent the Government from achieving the overarching policy objective in the event that the Scottish Parliament were to exercise the additional legislative competence which this order confer if made. Does the committee therefore agree to note that? Agreed. Thank you. There is the, the other issue which we spoke about, John. Um, as members are aware, there's a difference in the form in which the Scottish Ministers make subordinate legislation to that used by Ministers of the Crown, and there is a need to make provision to reflect this when sharing pre-existing functions with Scottish Ministers. We have noted the most recent transfer of functions order makes express provision for this point to make it clear. The order before us today takes a different and more complex approach, replying, relying pardon me, on more general rules of interpretation. Whilst it can achieve the same result, we might take the view that this is less easy to follow. Does the committee therefore agree that consistency and simplicity of drafting would be more helpful to leaders and that we would encourage such an approach for future orders? I would just thank you. John. I would just say that it it is uh, with regard to Article Five Three A and Five Three B. I mean, it, it, there is apparently inherent contradictions within this, and even if the instrument is fit for the purposes, it should be tidied up subsequently. One would hope. Thank you. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Scotland Act 1998 modification of Schedule 5 Order 2015 draft, the General Medical Council fitness to practice and overarching objective and the Professional Standards Authority for Health and Social Care references to Court Order 2015 draft, the Charity Test specified bodies and the protection of charities assets exemption Scotland Amendment Order 2015 draft, nor on the Proceeds of Crime Act 2002, Disclosure of Information to and by the Lord Advocate and Scottish Ministers, Amendment Order 2015, Draft, nor on the Scottish Tax Tribunals, Voting and Offences, etc. Regulations 2015, Draft, nor on the Revenue Scotland and Tax Powers Act, Postponement of Tax Pending a Review or Appeal, Regulations 2015, Draft, nor the European Protection Order Scotland Regulations 2015 Draft, nor the Budget Scotland Act 2014 Amendment 2015 Draft, nor the Land and Buildings Transaction Tax, Tax Rates and Tax Bans Scotland Order 2015 Draft, nor finally on the Scotland Landfill Tax Standard Rate and Lower Rate Order 2015 Draft. Is the committee content with these, please? Yes. Thank you. Agenda item four, uh, instrument subject to negative procedure, and we begin with the Firefighters Pension Scheme Scotland Regulations 2015, SSI 2015, 19. Chapter one of part eight to the regulations uses the phrase the scheme employer in several places. The term the scheme employer is not defined in the regulations. The correct phrase is the authority, which is defined in regulation three as the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service. The use of the term the scheme employer 
could be confused with the term the scheme manager, which is defined in Regulation 3 as the Scottish Ministers. Does the committee therefore agree to draw the regulations to the attention of the Parliament on the general reporting ground? Stuart. Um, I'm perfectly prepared to uh, support uh, that recommendation, but I think it, it, it's, it's worth perhaps the committee also noting that where the government accepts that the drafting is inaccurate or has errors of one sort or another, the government should at the very least uh, commit that at the next convenient opportunity they will correct what they accept is an error in the drafting. Um, I think on this occasion we've not had such an offer and it would be useful through the means of uh, the official report from this meeting for the government to be aware that we would wish that to be the offer they make. That does not mean that it will necessarily ever get fixed, but at least it would be a proper acknowledgement that it is something worthy of fixing if an opportunity arises, and I would hope the government would note that. Do colleagues agree with yeah, John? I would agree utterly with that, and it's uh, the same in the instrument 2015-38. Uh, where the same remarks apply, and there has been... But, but, yeah, fair enough. Enough. Which right. I will speak to in that case uh, at uh, that time. Indeed. John. If I, could, if I could just comment. I mean, I, I agree, I totally agree that all of these terms, authority, employer, manager, etc., should be properly defined, and, and that is the ideal way of doing it. However, you know, I don't really agree that employer and manager are two words that are likely to be confused uh, by most people. Can I say, I think I, I would accept that, but on the other hand, why leave the uh, banana skin around? Uh, do members, does the committee therefore agree to draw the regulations to the attention of the reporting ground, sorry, of the Parliament on the general reporting ground? Great. We do, thank you. Turning then to the Revenue Scotland and Taxpayers Act Privileged Communications Regulations 2015 SSI 2015-38, Regulation 5.8 requires an application to the Tribunal to be made no later than 20 working days of the date after the notification given by Revenue Scotland of the documents it requires to be produced. The regulation is intended to require such, such an application to be made no later than 20 days after the date of the notification. The words of and after have been accidentally and very obviously transposed. Does the committee therefore agree to draw the instrument to the attention of the Parliament on the general reporting ground as Regulation 5.8 contains a patent drafting error? John. Yes, I agree. And as with the previous instrument which we discussed for 2015-19, I too am disappointed that the government makes no offer of uh, putting an amendment to this at the earliest opportunity, which hitherto has been apparently the normal custom and practice. So I'm disappointed that that offer has not been made. I think it should be made. Um, otherwise, what's the point of this committee? Um, if uh, s such advice as we might wish to give is just to be ignored and the mess that has been created inadvertently, of course, uh, remains. Thank you. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Little Loch Broom Scallops Several Fishery Order 2015 SSI 2015-28, nor on the Loch U Isle of View Wester Ross Scallops Several Fishery Order 2015 SSI 2015-30, nor the Health and Care Professions Council Registration and Fees Amendment Rules of so Rules Order of Council 2015, SSI 2015-93, nor on the Revenue Scotland and Taxpayers Act Fees for Payment Regulations 2015, SSI 2015-36, nor the Revenue Scotland and Taxpayers Act Involved Third Party Order 2015, SSI 2015-37, nor the Non-Domestic Rate Scotland Order 2015, SSI 2015-47, nor the Fish Labelling Scotland Amendment Regulations 2015, SSI 2015-48, nor finally on the Scottish Courts and Tribunals Service Procedure for Appointment of Members Regulations 2015, SSI 2015-53. Is the committee content with these instruments, please? Yeah. Thank you. Tender item five is instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure and no points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Act of Sedonant Rules of the Court of Session Amendment Regulation EU <coughs> number 1215-2012-2015, SSI 2015-26. Nor on the Historic Environment Scotland Act 2014, Commencement number two, Order 2015, SSI 2015-31 nor the Act of Sedarent Rules of the Court of Session Amendment Number 2, Regulatory Reform Act 
Regulator Reform Scotland Act 2014, SSI 2015, 35. Nor on the Reservoirs Scotland Act 2011, Commencement Number 2, Order 2015, SSI 2015 43. Nor the Public Bodies Joint Working Scotland Act 2014, Commencement Number 2, Amendment Order 2015, SSI 2015 44. Nor on the Bankruptcy and Debt Advice Scotland Act 2014, Commencement Number 2, Savings and Transitionals, Amendment Order 2015, SSI 2015 54. Is the Committee content with those instruments, please? Yes. Thank you. And at that point, I move the meeting into private. Thank you.